This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. Warning, vulgarity awaits. You know, as a manufacturer, Dahl seems to make a lot of good guns and weapons. Overall, they're pretty solid as a weapons manufacturer. Even though they did try to blow up Elpis and Borderlands the pre-sequel, they're alright for the most part. But that said, we gotta talk about their sins. There's some dusty fuck ass clencher worthy weapons coming out of those doll <laughs> oh i'm sorry those goddamn doll manufacturing plants what were the designers at doll thinking that e-tech is good and their doll laser barrel was the shit they're out of their goddamn minds top five worst doll guns and weapons in borderlands 2 in the pre-sequel let's get this shit fuckery started number five Doll E-Tech Assault Rifles. You know, I could have said all Doll E-Tech weapons and said that they're all shit. But Doll E-Tech Rifles seem to take the cake. Like all other Doll E-Tech Assault Rifles, they have low critical hit damage and ridiculous ammo consumption. To top it all off, Doll E-Tech Assault Rifles fire three bullets in burst. Except the left and the right bullet always miss whatever the fuck you're shooting at. What a boatload of ice. Yeah, yeah, sure. Wide enemies like loaders and some bully mongs are easier to hit. But that doesn't excuse the fact that E-Tech assault rifles and E-Tech weapons in general are grossly ammo inefficient. That's why I propose that you should tweet hashtag fix e to both the Borderlands and Gearbox software Twitter accounts in hopes that they finally take the time to fix E-Tech weapons. Join me in our conquest to try to liberate ourselves from shitty E-Tech weapons for Borderlands 2. Simply type hashtag fix e -tech, hashtag make e -tech great for all. I know you thought I was going to say again, but they've always been pretty bad in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, so it's great for all. Number 4. The Fire Starter. Why isn't there a firecracker grenade? Wouldn't that make sense? After all, firecrackers blow up like grenades. I suppose it's not shit early on in the game, but later on in the game, pretty much every other laser available is better than the fire starter. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fire star, duh. I don't know what's worse. You get the fire starter at a point in Borderlands the pre-sequel where you're mostly fighting in outer space. So it's a fire laser that you'll use in outer space. What the fuck? It doesn't even get a chance. Nothing combusts or catches fire in space. Even on higher difficulties and under some of the best circumstances, this weapon will beat most generic mob enemies, but will have a hard time killing most badasses and other higher health mob enemies in a reasonable amount of time. Even on Athena, with 200 Maelstrom stacks, this weapon is still a piece of shit. So, fuck the Firestar, duh! Get anything else? Well, maybe not these next three weapons. Number 3. The ZX-1. This laser sounds like it would be cool, right? After all, ZX-1 sounds tactical as fuck. In truth, it's a hellaciously horrible heap of shit. But finally, Puma, who doesn't want a gun that plays the game for you? Fire Forget is awesome. You know, normally I'd agree with you, except when projectiles fly all over the goddamn place. Look how chaotic this shit is. What is this, a fucking movie? Who designed a gun that fires projectiles like a goddamn movie? You know it's a video game, right? It's not real. So what? Locks on to enemy targets my ass. How the fuck are you supposed to hit anything with the ZX-1? You're constantly missing. And it's not like the ZX-1 is phenomenal or like phenomenally beyond over the standard shitty doll lasers. At least make the ZX-1 the cream of the crop, so to speak. Give us a chance to get random critical hits on all characters, not just Nisha the Lawbringer from Borderlands the pre-sequel. What a pile of fuck. Number two, the Dominator. 
God help us. And God help you if you get a fucking Dominator. Jesus Christ, Mary and Joseph, and holy fuck is this gun a piece of shit. I don't think you can fuck up any more than a unique E-Tech pistol that only comes in corrosive element. Why the hell would I use this fucking thing when I have the Hornet, which is actually good, or the teapot pistol, which is great early on in the games? Those are actually good corrosive pistols, especially if you can get one at the right level. The projectiles aren't irrevocably fucked by the fact that they can't crit. What an insidious pile of shit, boatload of goddamn it. What hellaciously fucked in the head, ball bleeding goat fucker. I don't even know what those are, but I do know what the Dominator is. Most definitely a pile of fuck. Number one, the Bearcat. You know what, guys? I'm going to calm down for a little bit. I've been overreacting a little to the horrible state of some of these weapons. Now, before I start getting more brain aneurysms, I'm going to simply say this. Tweet hashtag fix grenade launcher along with hashtag fix e -tech. Be polite to Gearbox and the Borderlands Twitter accounts. Uh, this is a message for positive change. Now back to our regularly scheduled vulgarity. Fuck me, guys. What a boatload of ass. Two brain aneurysms in one episode. You can't get any better than that. You know what, guys? I don't know. I'm starting to get drained. Both from earlier and over the fact that I've constantly bitched about this gun and how much of a wasted opportunity that the Bearcat was. This was supposed to be a weapon that was rarer and therefore better than the Unkempt Herald. And all we got was this gun that can't crit and is a piece of shit. Ridiculous ammo consumption and relatively low magazine size don't help things. Hashtag fix e -tech, hashtag fix grenade launcher, hashtag save the bear cat. Tweedle deedle tweet that shit. Anyway guys, that's gonna pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. Uh, one more thing. If you are going to tweet the Gearbox or Borderlands Twitter accounts, uh, I do ask that you try to be uh, somewhat courteous and not be angry like I am in this video. Uh, this is a message more for positive change. Hopefully Gearbox, if they do decide to do another patch for Borderlands 2 or the pre-sequel, they'll fix E-Tech weapons and grenade launchers. And when I talk about grenade launchers, I'm talking about grenade launcher assault rifles because those things could definitely use some fixing. They can't crit, and they're weaker than a lot of the other guns and weapons in the games for that reason. But anyway, guys, again, like this video, leave a like, tweet the things if you're interested in that. Otherwise, take care, and I'll see you all next time.